Bill, what do you make of this? Pulling a lot of money out of the market, investors losing confidence in this bull run? Think this it's going to end soon? This is the most hated rally in the history of civilization. <laughs> if we were having this conversation a year ago with the stock market in the midst of a 20% collapse, investors were telling you with absolute certainty that we're going into recession last year. That didn't happen. Now they're thinking we're absolutely going into recession this year, if not absolutely the beginning of next year. None of those things are going to happen. Our proprietary recession dashboard is suggesting that the earliest the U.S. economy is at risk for recession is the middle of calendar 2021. So the rally, we're up 35 percent since that Christmas Eve bottom we saw last year. Our forecast for this year was 3,100 on the S&P. We're there. We're looking at a 3,500 level on the S&P, fully de discounting next year's earnings. So our view is that this market is going to continue to grind higher as investors recognize that the economy is not sliding in a recession. So then you would still be invested in the United States. You're not saying this rally is over at all. What about the rest of the world? The rest of the world has clearly underperformed. We think they're in a better place today. Now, if you look at, for example, emerging markets, is an area that looks interesting. If we can get this China deal consummated over the course of the next few weeks, that will make emerging markets look much more attractive. If we can get the, the Brexit situation resolved over the course of the next couple of months, that will potentially make the UK and, and Europe more attractive. So, so there are some things that could happen that will make certain international markets look more attractive. Uh, certainly the valuation is more attractive than the United States. And so we're wor warming up into those areas. So obviously Friday's jobs number really strong, much stronger than expected. We can't continue to see that kind of job growth when we have unemployment at 50 year lows. I mean, where are the workers going to be coming from? So should we not be disappointed if those job gains fall back? in that pure number, that non-farm number? Well, the reality is that 3.5%, the, the rate of unemployment, the U3, is at a, a, a half-century low. That's absolutely true. But there is still slack in the labor market. And the reason we know that is because the spread between the U3 and the U6, the labor impairment rate, when the market is tight, the spread between those two indicators is typically 2.5%. We're, we're somewhere between 35 and 4% right now. So we think the rate of unemployment could actually grind down towards 3% looking out over the course of the next year or so. Now, we're not going to do 307,000 every month, but we could do 200,000, give or take, over the course of the next year. Wow. Thank you, Phil Orlando.